Hello, I'm Michael Smith. This is Awaken to Truth. Thank you for taking the time to stop by and watch this video. I want to get in uh, to a word that I feel will be beneficial to you, something that I think has been stirring in my spirit. And so let's get into it today. Uh, the time is now. That's what I am sensing. The time is now. And you might ask, the time is now for what? The time is now for you to begin to receive strength that you have been lacking. If you have recognized that you have been in the need of spiritual strength, and uh, so oftentimes spiritual strength and emotional strength, they'll kind of go hand in hand to some degree, or they kind of complement the other. Oftentimes, if we're very spiritually low, it can be easy to be emotionally low, but just strength altogether. Now is the time to receive strength. And the scripture gives us a very clear uh, promise of what the Lord will do for those who are in need of strength. And it says in Isaiah 28, have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is he weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And it also goes on to say, and to those who have no might, he increases their strength. He gives power to the weak. I want you to think about that word gives. He didn't say you have to do some great feat to get it. He didn't say you have to turn cartwheels to get it. He gives power to the weak. What is the prerequisite? Have you not known? Haven't you heard? Well, you have now. He gives power to the weak and he gives strength to those who don't have any. He wants to give that to you today. He wants to um, pour that out upon you today. Paul talks about in Ephesians that uh, we can be strengthened in the inner man or strengthened in our inner being, inner woman too, if you're a woman. You can be strengthened. You can receive that inner strength and sometimes there's difficult seasons that bring us to a place where we are able to receive that greater strength. But that greater strength is available. He gives it to those who are in need. And the time is now. I feel uh, the Lord saying, you don't have to sit and wait any longer. That uh, mourning lasts for a night, or, or you know, mourning, but there is joy that comes in the morning. And there is joy that comes with the strength that the Lord wants to place upon you today. And the scripture goes on and it says, but those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And it goes before that, it says, even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. Now, what he's saying there is, there is no other source that you can receive strength from. If you try and depend upon anything else, there's no other source because even the strongest among us, the youth, those that are in the prime of their life, even they're going to get tired at some point. Even their strength is going to fail at some point. But the strength that he has to offer will not fail. Now, uh, I have uh, young kids and all three of them are energetic. One's a teenager, one's uh, you know, 10 and one's eight. All three of them are energetic. But of those three, there's one that is incredibly energetic. He is nonstop from the time he wakes up to the time he goes to bed. And it, it seems at times that like he's never going to run out of energy because he's always the one that doesn't want to go to bed at nighttime, ever. He always wants to stay up. But there's this little supplement, and many of you have probably heard of it. It's called melatonin. And it's like his kryptonite. As soon as you give him that melatonin, within 10 to 15 minutes, bam. His, his, his strength and his endurance to continue is gone. He's sound asleep. So that's a perfect example that anybody, no matter how young, no matter how energetic, that strength only lasts so long. It has a expiration and then you have to restore. But God gives a strength that is dynamic, a strength that is ever uh, replenishing, a strength that does not run dry. Yes, we're going to go through highs and we're going to go through lows. Yes, there's times that we're in mountains and there's times that we're in valleys. But if you've been in a valley, the time is now to begin to climb the mountain. But here's the good news. You don't have to climb the mountain little by little. His strength can lift you up 
on the wings of eagles. It's a whole lot easier to get to the mountain on the wings of an eagle than it is to climb there by foot or to dig yourself out. But that's the way God's strength works. And it's available to you today. He wants to bring it to you today. He wants to lift you up today like that. He, you know, sometimes we can kind of incrementally receive strength. And then there's those times where as we have waited on the Lord, that that strength can come in an instant and we can go from here to here. And I believe that's what the Lord wants to do in your life today. He wants to lift you up on the wings of eagles so that you can run and not be weary and so that you can walk and not faint. His strength is continuous. It is always available and believe him for it today. It says, haven't you heard? Don't you know, he gives strength to those that are weak. He, he gives uh, might to those that don't have any. That's what's available for you today. The time is now. Don't sit there any longer. Don't sit there and pout any longer. Rise up and receive what it is that the Lord desires to give you. And that's to give you his strength, his power, his mercy, his grace. God bless you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll be back with another one very soon.